What's up everybody, Rain here, coming at you with another Modern Masters 2015 draft. Right off the bat, we have a few... This pack is pretty underwhelming, I'm not going to lie. Um, good cards include Aether Snipe, Agony Warp, though it's very committing. Um, Grim Affliction. I think you know, it's a bit of a problem that the best three cards in the pack are in black and blue. I think I'm going to take the Grim Affliction. It's probably the safest card to take. Agony Warp is a little better, but not enough better that I think it's worth committing to blue as well. Here we could take Here we could take a Moonlit Strider or a Scuttling Death. Actually, want to sort by color. I think Scuttling Death is probably the pick here. It's not quite as good as Moonlit, but it's less committing. I'm not really a fan of black green tokens, so I'll take the Scuttling Death. Here we can take a Wax Mane Baku or a Basilica. I think it's slightly better than the Blinding Soul Eater, though that's a really good card as well. I think... Whew. Thief of Hope is also really good. I think we'll take the Basilica. It's just pretty irreplaceable. Really good card advantage. Maybe one of these spirits makes it around, or the Soul Eater. Here we can take a Rest. It's better than Lacerator. And Celestial Perch. Now we can take a Kami of the Ancient Law, which is really good in the Black-White combination. Or we could take Tumble Magnet, it's really good with Grim Affliction. I think Kami is a little better. We'll grab that. Here, Underworldly, Otherworldly Journey is quite nice. Um, you can use it on your opponent's creatures, you can use it on your own creatures. It's an arcane spell for some of these spirits. And we're not really playing a ton of one drops for Dusk Hunter Bat. I don't think Tommy realized that a card was rare in his pack. He probably thought a rare was a common. Just waiting on packs. Alright, here we have a sign in blood, or Tarashi's Grasp. I'm actually really tempted to see if Tarashi's Grasp is main deckable. I think we'll take the sign in blood. I think it's Tarashi's Grasp is way more main deckable and sealed than it is in draft. I'm 
just waiting on exceptional. There we go. Nest Invader and Kozilex Predator are the best cards in this pack. But there's still an ever flowing chalice. And our white cards don't really go with the green white deck that well, and I'm not a big fan of the green black deck. I'm going to take the chalice, it's just a good ramp card. Agony Warp, we could splash. Swordsmith, I'm not a big fan of. I think we're just going to take the Agony Warp. Oh, green is way too open. You know, I'll take a scatter of the seeds. Maybe we start moving in on green. No, I'll take a tumble magnet. Wax me, Baku made it back. And we'll take steady progress. Man, this would have been a really good draft to be blue green. Raise the alarm over second tumble magnet. Again, right now I'm mostly forcing things to test out archetypes. I really want to know kind of where they stand in terms of generic power level. Here we take Edge Monstrosity. It's a 5 mana 5-5 five five, and that's just solid. Yeah, absolutely. I mean our opponents can proliferate it, but we can also otherworldly journey it. Dark Seal Axe is pretty good as well, as Ghostly Changeling. Yeah, it's pretty easy Edge Monstrosity for me there. Here, Twilight Guardian's awesome. Glad to see it. Creek with Liege is also, like, ridiculous. And I'm not sure we can pass up on it. As much as Twilight Guardian's really good with the synergy I have, it's just Creek with Liege wins games by itself. Yeah, we'll take the Creekwood. Our deck isn't focused enough on spirits yet that I am willing to pass up a Creekwood Liege. Alright, this pack, there's a Spectral Procession. And a Scuttling Death, and that's about it. Or Ghostly Changeling. I'm gonna take the Spectral. It's just a really good card. It can win games on its own. It's kind of awkward with Creek with Leash, but considering we're probably two colors, we can afford that. Apostle's Blessing protects our Creek with Leash. Selesnia Sanctuary helps us cast Creek with Leash. Evolving Wilds does too, but Sanctuary is definitely better for the card advantage. going to take the Sanctuary. Here we can take a Skirmisher, or a Sickle Slicer. I think we'll pick up the Sickle Slicer. take the skirmisher. Sphere of the Suns is awesome, but we're not passing up a reckless apparition here. It is a 3 mana 2-2, two, two, but it's basically unblockable. And it has persist. And we can otherworldly journey it. It's just a lot of recipes for success. Sphere of the Suns is really difficult to pass up on though.
So we took the skirmisher because I knew there would be probably another sickle strider sometime. Uh, dispatch is pretty cool, but we don't have nearly enough artifacts to make it work. Sulka is okay. Could be pretty good with like Raise the Alarm and Spectral Procession. It's just another spirit. I think we're going to get one on the way back. I'll take the Sickle Slicer. We'll take a Scuttling Death here. It really screws up combat math for our opponents. It's better than Dead Drone in this deck for sure. Let me read. Does Soul Shifts? Yeah, I get Spirit cards back. Okay. Here we could take a Shrivel for the board, or a Walking Nightmare for the board, or a Mighty Leap, which is actually fine. Now I'll take the Mighty Leap. We'll take the Rasulka. I suspected one would come back. Did not suspect Repeal would come back. That's pretty insane. Ghostly Changeling. Another Rasulka. Sickle Slicer. And what's our stick? Somber Hoverguard again. Our deck's shaping up pretty well. We could use probably another bomb. Though we're not really missing out on it. Another wax main Baku could be good. Oblivion Ring. Pretty easy slam here. <laughs> Definitely better than anything else in this pack for me. Other notable cards, Scion has impressed me in the green-white tokens deck. Um, Water Servant's pretty good. Glintock Idol. The, the Affinity deck is just not very good in my eyes. So this pack is pretty underwhelming. Scion, Water Servant, Scatter the Seeds are the next best cards. But Oblivion Ring's probably just the best. Uh, cranial planing's okay, but we're gonna take the ghostly changeling. Again, it's a spirit. We can soul shift it back with our scuttling deaths. And just messes up with combat math a little bit more. Burst lighting's definitely the best card in this pack though. Pillar of the Sleepless is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Necrogenesis is cool, but it's not really something I think I'm going to play. I guess we'll hate out a card here. There's like a 0.5% chance we play that. Grudian's really cool. Sanctuary again is nice. Rasulka will make it back. Grudian, what do we have to splash it with? Because I know we have the Sanctuary. I think we'll take another Sanctuary here. Again, helps us cast our... Uh, Creek with Liege, if nothing else, and is decent for card advantage. Thief of Hope is awesome. Blinding Soul Eater is two, but Thief of Hope is definitely better in my deck. Niv Miz, it's awesome. Guess we take a Raise the Alarm. There's not really anything else I'm going to play there. Drooling Grudian. Now we have two green sources between our sanctuaries. There's a chance we play it versus Dead Drone, which honestly isn't exciting in this deck. I'll take the Grudian. Why not? We have two Raise the Alarms in our sanctuaries.
and our fives is a little clogged right now. Spectral is kind of a five, and Scuttling Death. We could take a Glintock Idol. Not really planning on uh, animating it with artifacts, but it's possible. And also, it could just animate off of white to become a 2 2 flyer if we need it to. Scatter the Seeds, definitely the best card here. Person who took Eston, or, uh, Scion of the Wild will be happy to see that. I think reassembling Skeleton is just not what we need. We have enough two drops. Yeah. Clint Hawk is fine. Death Denied. Best card in this pack is Squirter, then Aether Snipe, then Death Denied, then Vitae. Take a Servitor over a second Death Denied, I guess. I guess we'll hate out the tokens card. Yeah, Grudian made it back. We're not gonna play two. I didn't think that one would make it back. Alright, back for deck building, guys.